Peace of mind, what kicks off? Seven a.m. to five a.m. day to night. The words on the shelf and latch on cats. Man here, he's done just right. Man here, man here, it's best that in the land. That's just the best just band where I am. Come on now, come on, let me lead you by the hand. Up to the man, to the man who's the leader of the band. If you want me, that's what you want. In Thank you very much. My name is Nellie Lutcher, and I'm known as the Real Grown Gal. And I would like to do for you now Cabaret, the medley of Cabaret, and Life is Just a Bowl of Cherries. <laughs> You need in your book and your broom Time for a holiday Life is a cabaret oh, to the Come taste the wine Come hear the band Come blow your horn Stand celebrate Do right this way Your table's waiting Some proud here to do To wipe all your smiles away Life is a cabaret Take it serious, it's too darn mysterious. You work your slave and you work your soul, but you can't take it with you. Thank you very much. I would like now to introduce my wonderful co-workers to you. Uh, we have Billy Hadnot on bass violin, Jean Washington on drums, Bobby Bryant on trumpet, Ulysses Livingston on uh, guitar, and John Collins on guitar. And I would like to tell you that three of these gentlemen 
uh, two of the gentlemen rather, worked with me on my very first record session a few years ago. Imagine you Mine, Daddy, oh, she belongs to me. Imagine you so handsome and tall coming at my bed and call. My heart's out of flutter, sweet words you and it's your feeling. Say you never could me. Thank you. My next tune is my very first record. Hurry on down. You better hurry on down to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home. To hurry on down to my house, baby. And do as I can be. I love you. You love me. Hurry through the alley so the neighbors won't see you. Double to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home but me. Hold it down, drag it down, anywhere you get it down. I'm blue as I can be. Operator, give me H O O O T T. You say the line is busy. I hope it ain't busy. He's got to hurry on down right now. Ain't nobody home but lonely me. There is nobody home but me. And the next tune is an instrumental on Mac the Knife. Mm-hmm. 
And I was going to take five while I have a chat with an old friend, Dave Dexter. Hello, Nellie. Dave Hi, Dexter. Yeah. You once told me a story about working for $2 a month. Now, that's $2 <laughs> a month in a little church in your hometown of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Very true, Dave. What would you do for $2 a month? Well, I played, <laughs> I was the pianist for the Sunday school, the New Sunlight Baptist Church in our little hometown. And of course, I was the assistant pianist for the church in general. And how old were you? Oh, a little over eight years old. <laughs> eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> then you played in an imperial dance band in which your father played string bass. Right. And did he play tuba as well? No, he didn't no. play tuba. He played all of the string instruments. And where did you go with the Imperial Band? Well, we traveled in uh, Louisiana, Texas, and, uh, you know, playing little dances. And How old were clubs. you then? Natalie? Well, I was uh, getting up in age then, getting to be an old lady. I was about 14, 15, <laughs> <laughs> 16. How about when you finally got out of that area? You came out to California, or went out to California in 1935, was it? Right, right. And yes. that was the depths of the worst economic depression ever. It sure was. And so how did you, how did you survive it? Well, I managed, I think it probably took me about, uh, about a year to get up a fare, which was about $27 in from Louisiana to California. So it took me that long to save that much money. And, but I was determined to come, you know, to leave home. I had friends and relatives out here, and I, they told me this was the place. So, yeah, I come. And the place turned out to be the Dunbar <laughs> Hotel? <laughs> that was my first job, yes. First, my first job. job. That was a $2 a night job. See, I, I had, at least I had, a, I had come up from that, $2 a month. This yeah. was $2 a night. All right, that's a big <laughs> jump. That wasn't too bad money in 1935. <laughs> no, from 8 until 2. 8 until 2. And working as a single. Then you worked the Royal Club, was that they, on? Uh, the Club Royal. Club Royal. Yes, that was on uh, Florence and Broadway for Leonard Castillo, who I haven't seen in many years. And were you playing the same style piano and singing those Ab nutty little Absolute, novelties? Absolutely. I mean, you know, many of the things that I recorded, the things that I was doing at the Club Royal. Yeah. Now, somewhere along the line after that, Nellie, you worked as an accompanist to Lena Horne. Yes, I did a, a session with Lena. Uh, I can't even remember some of the tunes. I ain't got nothing but the blues. And for as long as I live with some of those things, yeah, right. I did that. Then along about 1947 in the spring, <laughs> I had my radio on one night to KFWB AM in Los Angeles. There was no FM. Right on. And I <laughs> heard you do a little song for Frank Bull, and it was a charity for the March of Dimes. That's right. You remember that? How could I ever forget And I jumped right out of my chair when I heard you, <laughs> but I didn't know where to reach you. I had no way of contacting you until right after that, your brother Joe Lutcher came in, good alto saxophone player, and he wanted me to hear some little demonstration records. And I didn't really care for your brother's songs, but there was that voice again. <laughs> And I jumped up once more, and I finally contacted you. Right. And then what did we do? Well, my friend Joe Alexander was the guy, the, the good messenger. He brought the message to me. Good singer. He said, too. Mr. Dexter wants uh, a call from you, Nellie Lutcher. He <laughs> wants to hear from you right away. And of course, you know, I didn't hesitate. And it all, when I saw Dave Dexter, it all started there. We went to the studio. <laughs> we made four <laughs> tunes that day. I think uh, Hurry On Down was the very first one. Yes. And I think He's a Real Gone Guy was maybe the third side on the session. Uh, no, Real Gone Guy was on the second session. Oh, was it? All right. I'm shows you And two mind. of the musicians here were on the session. Right. Billy they, Hadnott, uh, Billy Hadnott and, Ulysses Livingston. and Ulysses Livingston. Well, they were on that very first record session. Right. And Lee Young, who's now a big executive over at yeah. one of the record companies, was also on the session. Right. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. The, day that, there. the day that record came out in the summer of 47, Nellie Lutcher was it. Well, I, I'm ever so grateful to you for even recognizing something. Well. Something that I had to say, and I'm, I'm just ever so grateful for that. It's so good to chat with you, Nellie. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to do a medley of My Mother's Eyes, which I dedicated to my mother, my late mother, and a song I wrote for my son, Talmadge, My Little Boy. One the boy Now here's a Babe Wallace tune, a chicken ain't nothing but a bird. Everybody's talking about the chicken. The chicken is a popular bird. And where you go, you're bound to find that a chicken ain't nothing but a bird. Some people call it a fowl. That's the story I've heard. Now you let them call it this and you let them call it that, but a chicken ain't nothing but a bird. You can boil it, you can brown it, cook it in a pan or a pot. Eat it with potatoes, rice, or tomatoes, or a ginger till, but you got boy. It was a dish for old Caesar, even King Henry the Third. Oh, Columbus was smart, said you can't fool me, cause the chicken ain't nothing but a bird. True. Eat it with potatoes, rice, and tomatoes, and chicken still what you got. Boy, it 
was a dish for old Caesar, even King Henry the Third. Oh, Columbus was smart, so he just can't fool me, cause the chicken ain't nothing but a bird. I like fried chicken, stew, chicken, bait, chicken, cream chicken, fricassee chicken, barbecue chicken, boiled chicken, or boiled chicken. Now, B-I-R-D, what does it spell? What does it mean that a C-H-I-C-K-E-N ain't nothing but a B-I-R-D? And now, it's cool water. The barren waste without a taste of water. Ooh, water. Oh, Dan and I, with throats for and dry, and souls that cry for water. Cool. The next tune is, This Can't Be Love. Believe it. Now 
the entertainer, the old Scott Joplin tune, we'd like to do our version of it for you. Tune is the ladies in love with you. If uh, there is a gleam in her eyes, each time she straightens her tie, boy, the lady. Thank you. 
that far away movement. Yes, here is just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands. Well, that's the stuff you can watch, cause the ladies in love. And now we will take five while our friends, my musicians, have a little rest. And speaking of old friends, here's another old friend, a gentleman who was kind enough to have me as a guest on his, as a subject, I should say, on his This Is Your Life, Mr. Ralph Edwards. So glad to see you again. Oh, uh, Nelly, so great to be here. I thought Dave over here was going to do the whole thing again. <laughs> this is your life. Dexter had you going through, uh, you know, from Lake Charles. <laughs> Sorry about going, that. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, first of ten children for Susan and Isaac <laughs> Lutcher. To live. To live. Uh, to, oh, to, to live. live yeah. oh, don't leave that out. And uh, all that. Do you, do you still have that old piano we gave you at the end of the show? Well, no. It sort of fell to pieces. We, we had it shipped out. Well, it you was did. to pieces yes, when it came was. out. You know? <laughs> uh, I think that, uh, who was it? Uh, Professor Renaud. Reynaud. Reynaud. He's gone now. Yeah, Char Lake Charles. You have to yes. get it the Reynaud. Reynaud. And uh, French, like. Right. But, but uh, he said that to reach that, you had to stand on a Bible <laughs> to reach the piano. I did. Hey, that's how old she was. You know, she was, that's how young she was when she oh, started man. all of this business back there in Lake Charles. And then the, uh, what was the name of that Baptist church? I always love it. The New Sunlight the Baptist Church. New Sunlight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. Ralph, that was a New Year's Eve show, as I recall. It was. It and sure the, was. The premise uh, <laughs> that we used in getting Nellie over there without really letting her know it was this year life was that uh, we wanted someone, because it was a New Year's Eve show, some star to come on and sing, let's... Uh, start what's the it? New Year right. Start the New Year right. Yes. And who else but <laughs> Nellie Lutcher, who uh, was just ready to go into the Oasis at that time, you know, and all of that. Of course, uh, we could have... I think probably surprised you easily just by getting you in the studio because that was only our 14th show on This Your Life. Mm -hmm. That uh, from that 14th show, I, we went on to, uh, I guess we did about 480 of them. Oh my gracious. Well, uh, about uh, 70 of those were on radio, but mm -hmm. the rest are on television. And they're still playing that show in England. Uh, for 20 years, yes. <laughs> uh, the uh, nine years on the BBC and now on Thames. Barbara and I and the three little consequences went over in uh, 1955 and started it there. But yours, Nellie, I was watching it with Barbara the other evening. It, it just is a piece of Americana, and it's so exciting uh, to see. Do you ever hear it? Now, Maud Reed, she was your... Uh, the nurse. The nurse in she's, your school. Yes, there. she's gone. And the woman who brought the key, remember the lady gave oh, me the Rosa. big gold key, Rosa Hart, Rosa she's gone. Hart. Professor Raynor is gone. There's just a few of us left. Yeah, just a few of us, Dave, baby. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, that, uh, uh, this Rosa that uh, brought the, uh, the, key. the key from the little theater department right on, right. in uh, Lake Charles uh, had it fixed up back there in Lake Charles with a, really a whole <sighs> audience that this little lady didn't know anything about. We, uh, they were all down at the city hall or somewhere, and they put up antennas and everything. You know, television was kind of young in those days. Very young. And uh, they were all around there. and had a, It was a, a marvelous uh, evening for us. Listening here to you, Nellie, Dave, why don't you record this girl again? And I mean, with that, that nice, soft beat stuff. Well, all I uh, need is a record company to give me a little support. <laughs> get billboard, get behind <laughs> and whip sure. man together. I'd like to do that. Uh, Rob, I too was on that show, and we haven't mentioned what date it was. It was New Year's Eve of 1952, as I recall. 29 years ago. Oh, my. And I've got to tell you, let's see what this evokes. You don't look any different, you know, oh, Dave. Please. You don't look a year different than yeah. you did when you walked on I that look, show. I look about 80 pounds different. <laughs> <laughs> not saying anything about us, is he? No, no. Right, <laughs> right. Well, you were the man who found her, who, uh, when Joe walked in with this <laughs> record, you didn't record. care about it, but uh, <laughs> his, his music, but you sure liked the, the, the singing. Yeah, I and, still uh, like it, too. Well, She sounds better now than she did then. Oh. Yep. More poise, more confidence. Nellie, Amazing. you're a great example of what can happen in this uh, American world of ours. Well, I'm and grateful for it all, and I'm grateful for the opportunity of being recognized. To me, that is one of the problems today. So many people have ability, have talent, 
they don't get a chance to get recognized. So I'm ever so grateful to both of you. That's why I call you my old friends, if you don't mind. Don't mind, and we don't mind listening <laughs> My to... My dear old friends. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind listening to some more music. So let's hear from Nellie Lutcher again. Come on, Nellie. Get Thank up you. there. Let me love you tonight. Let me tell you how much I adore all your charms. Though you leave me tomorrow, for this night will my whole love so Let me love you tonight. <clears throat> Let me thrill to the touch of a your shelter in till the scent of the roses caresses and closes your eyes let me kiss you tonight while the stars in the skies give a heavenly light <coughs> then when love is an ember Remember your sizes. Live a lifetime of love in a moment holding me tight. Then forget me, but darling, only let me love you tonight. St. Louis Blues, lutcherously.
When did you get this pretend? Cause I've never seen such a fine
you may not be classed with the elite, and you may not be held to that job like boot and all reap. Oh, 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 baby, oh, you look like Hercules done up in bronze. And I know I'm a clown whenever you're around, because I'm crazy, but man, I'm on while I'm out to find his round face. That he came 